Hello, friends. I'm here right now with George Corbett, who plays for the Virginia Symphony Orchestra, his favorite instrument ever, I'm sure. And what instrument is that, George? I play oboe and English horn. Two instruments. Two instruments, correct, yes. Very cool. Well, so how long have you been playing uh, these two instruments? Uh, I've been playing the oboe since I was in eighth grade, actually, so quite a long, long time. Here with the Virginia Symphony, now 15 years. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. So um, well, let me ask you, um, how, did it, how did music start for you? What's the beginnings when you knew, hey, I'm going to be a musician and make a, a living at this for my life? I knew very early on, probably when I was uh, in high school, early on in high school, I had a chance to go to a really uh, well-known school called the Peabody Institute in Baltimore. And uh, to do that while I was in high school was a really magnificent experience for me. And that really turned me on, turned my switch on to say, hey, I'm going to be a musician. Excellent. Um, so what does it feel like to uh, be doing a particular uh you know, particular movement of a of a symphony, and and you know the most passionate and most intense moments when it's going really really fast and lots of heavy drums, and you're playing your heart out. What, what's going through your mind during those moments? Well, it's uh, it's a thrilling experience, that's for sure. To know that a hundred people on stage can be doing the same thing at one time and create an create an experience for everyone to enjoy, not just the musicians but the audience as well. And to move an audience is really fascinating. What I call that experience is a transcendental trans transcendent musical experience, or a TME. Uh, and that's something that uh, just gets to the core of everybody. When we hear it, we get chills in our spine, and you know, we we just feel really enthralled by the music. Um, what uh, message would you want to get out to uh, the, say, the younger generation? You know, and uh, the, the types of music that uh, they are into, and and what in terms of what you would like for them to be into, um, and what advice would you have for them? Go explore. Go see what what uh, what you enjoy, and f try to figure out why you enjoy it. And once you figure that out, then it'll help open up a whole new world of uh, experiences. To, to go explore and to find your life purpose and to you know enjoy being a musician. Um, who are some musicians that have uh, influenced you uh, with um, in your life as a musician? Well, certainly all of my private oboe teachers, um, but there are some non-classical musicians that really have moved me a great deal. Right. The first one was Ella Fitzgerald. Nice. She was, uh, you know, a really um, magnificent force in my uh, college years. Uh, and there's other singers, you know, of course, uh, Josh Groban, I got a chance to hear him live, and that okay. was really wonderful. And Michael Bublé, I, I tend to go for the jazz singers. Um, um, those are just really nice influences in how they turn a phrase and make things happen and shade the line, and, right. you know, it's really magnificent to hear. Well, who do you listen to that I, uh, that I wouldn't expect the oboe player of the Virginia Symphony Orchestra to be listening to? <laughs> I listen sometimes to uh, New Age meditation music. Yeah, to take Excellent. me into a state away from the world and, you know, to really just uh, pull inward and, and to um, get a better, sen a deeper sense of self. Right. Well, there you have it, folks. Music is absolutely a wonderful thing that can take you to the next level of transcendentalism. <laughs> Life is good. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, George. I appreciate you so much. All right. Take care.